This is KAG's HD Sports. You know, the progress that they've, you know, they've come in the last two years has just been amazing, so I want to be a part of that. That is six foot, six inch Texas A&M wide receiver commit Frank Ahinacho from the Houston area. The Aggie success over the past two years continuing today on National Signing Day. Hope you're having a great sports night. Texas A&M football coach Kevin Sumlin said he and his staff had one goal when they entered the office early this morning. That was to have every single guy that had verbally committed to Texas A&M follow through with that commitment by signing on the dotted line and sending in their official paperwork. Well, today the Aggies got their wish. 22 players from Texas, Arizona, and Louisiana, 11 offense, 11 defense, will make up the 2014 class. Ten players on that final list are inside ESPN's top 300 nationally, most notably five-star quarterback right here, Kyle Allen, and defensive end, Miles Garrett. Now, this group of young players has seen A&M's recent success, and they know what this team hopes to do in the future, and they're hoping they can also help this team possibly reach that next level. What people are seeing and what prospects are seeing is, is the trend of where we are and where we can be. I've said it in a lot of people's homes, you know, you, you, we're, we're a program that's, that's trying to go from 8, 9, 10, 11 wins to 12, 13, 14 wins, and, um, you know, talent makes a, a huge difference in that. Now for a look at A&M's complete 2014 signing class, go to our website, kagstv.com. We'll hear much more from Coach Sumlin tonight at 10. Now while Texas A&M brought in a top five national recruiting class, local athletes also signed letters today. KAG's HD sports reporter Chris Vallejos shows what the big day was like for a number of Brazos Valley seniors. Whether they were Cubs, Rangers, Rattlers, Tigers or Vikings, high school seniors in the Brazos Valley put pen to paper on National Signing Day with hopes and dreams of playing and excelling at the next level. It feels great. We had a, a great season. Uh, dreams coming true. I always said that I wanted to play collegiate sports since about seventh grade, and so all the hard work and, and everything is coming together. So I'm really excited about this opportunity. There's no feeling like it. I feel like all my dreams have come true and all my hard work, it actually paid off. And I feel like it's a, it's a total blessing to be here where I am and where I'm going. Really proud of everything that's happened. Uh, coaches being able to support me, my parents pushing me and driving me and, and supporting me all the way through. Um, just, I'm really happy for it to be over, uh, um, but I'm really excited for this whole situation. It's very like good to have my family, know that I have my family behind me and that, 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 that they support me this much. And it's just exciting to go on to another level and be able to play like on a different level. As the popularity of signing day grows nationwide, some coaches are happy the student athletes are showcased. These kids give up so much, their parents give up so much, and it is a celebration and a motivation for young people. Motivation on the field and in the classroom. It's like I tell all my kids when they go off to college, you know, don't call me about that you had five sacks in a game or, or you had three touchdowns. You call me when you're getting that degree. Chris Vlahos, KAX HD Sports. And you know, it's so exciting to see the families of these guys, everybody getting involved and signing that letter of intent to go to the next level. Of course, we'll hear more from our local players and the Aggies tonight at 10.